It is Friday the 19th of December. Good evening and thank you for joining us in this edition of WTV News. My name is Wairi Wombogwa. Let's take a look at the top stories of the day. New anti-terror law, the security amendment bill approved in parliament amid drama. And in sports, celebrating football legends, Palestinian and Israeli kids mark the 100th anniversary of the First World War Christmas Truce. Welcome. President Uhuru Kenyatta has signed into law the controversial security bill despite protests from the opposition in parliament Thursday evening. Among closes dropped was the provision giving the interior, the interior cabinet secretary the power to decide where and how demonstrations and picketing take place. The security bill gives the president more powers over security bosses and the government more leeway in the fight against terrorism. Here is more. President Uhuru Kenyatta has faced mounting pressure to boost the country's security since the Mandera massacre. A special sitting of the National Assembly was thusly disrupted when chaos broke out during a session in which the Security Amendments Bill was to go for the third reading. However, the governing Jubilee Coalition MPs approved the changes despite howls of protest from the opposition in one of the most chaotic parliamentary sessions in Kenya's history. But the two sides set aside their differences to endorse President Uhuru Kenyatta's nomination of former Army General Joseph Nkaiseri as Interior Cabinet Secretary. The bill was denounced by the opposition as draconian. They fear that the proposed amendments will make it even worse. It gives the security and intelligence agencies the right to detain terror suspects for up to one year, to tap communications without court consent, and requires journalists to obtain police permission before investigating or publishing stories on domestic terrorism and security issues. President Uhuru Kenyatta has defended the bill, saying it is important for the country's security needs.